Hi everyone, welcome to the Cypress series. In today's video, we will learn about locators in Cypress. So locators are one of the most important aspects of Cypress because they help you identify and interact with a specific elements on the page. So in automation, if you want to perform any action, so you need to find locator. For example, you want to click on a button or you want to pass an input text to a text box. So you need to find locator for that first, right? So in Cypress, there are several ways to locate elements. Today, we'll be discussing about CSS, how we can use CSS locator to find the element on the page. We'll also see different ways to create customized CSS. So let's uh, start. So first one is ID. So ID is basically an attribute which is used to find HTML element. So let's say you have an attribute uh, ID present on the page. So in order to find that locator, we have to use hash and then the ID value, right? So let's understand with an example. So there's a website uh, which is open cart by Naveen Automation Labs. So in order to find a locator on a page, what you have to do, just do a right click and click on the inspect element. It will open a DOM, right? So for example, I want to find ID for this logo. So click on this arrow button and uh, hover where you want to find the locator, for example, over here. So you see the DOM got selected, this HTML section got selected. So this is my ID. I want to find locator for this. So like I mentioned, you have to use hash and then the ID value. So we can also search over here uh, if our locator is correct. So just do control F and we will enter hash and the ID value, which is logo. So you see this got highlighted. That means your locator is correct. And over on the page also, you can see the box, the blue section. That means the ID is actually, you are, you are actually locating this element right so this is our first example so this is how you find how you find locator when there is id as an attribute available similar to id we have a class as an attribute so whenever there is a class you can find the locator using dot so dot and the class value so let's understand with the example so let's go back to this website for example we want to find we want to find for this locator for this. So we have a class you see over here in the DOM, we have this class input group. So in order to find locator for this, what we'll do? So we have to use dot and then the class value. So my class value is basically input group over here. So I will just paste the class value and you see this got highlighted. That means my locator is correct and this is working fine on the base of class. Fine. So this is how you find locator for class. So next one is, let's say you do not have class or IDs available on the page. So in that case, we will find based on the attribute, right? So next approach is using attribute. So in that case, you have to use square brackets and then the attribute value, attribute name and the value of your attribute. So let's understand with an example over here, right? So let me take you back to the website. For example, let me take you to this example. For example, we want to find for this. So you see, we have button tab inside which we have uh, type as an attribute on click, but we don't have class or ID. So in this case, what we can do? So this is my attribute on click. And my value is this card dot add, right? So just copy this one and you can write inside the square brackets. So square brackets inside that my attribute name and value. So you see, this is getting highlighted. So this is a locator when we do not have ID or class, you can find it using attribute name and the value, right? So this is my third way. So this is how we find the locator when we do not have class or ID. Fine. So the next way is, let's say you have multiple class values. So I will write over here, multiple class values. So in that case, only dot won't work. So 
I'll show you over here on the website. For example, for example, we have this class, right? So if you copy, like I mentioned earlier, so if you copy the class value and search by dot and then the class value, you see it is showing zero. So it is not, it is not actually locating any event. So in this case, what you have to do, there are multiple class values. So you, so you have to remove the spaces and replace it with dot. So we have three spaces over here. So I'll remove the spaces and enter dot over here. So you see, now it will be highlighted. So you see, now it is getting highlighted. So when we have multiple class values, so you have to use this strategy. You have to remove spaces and enter dot. So this is how we find locator when we have multiple class values. Fine. So let me write an example over here. So this is a strategy for multiple class values. So the next, next approach is if you have to find nth value. So nth value, I mean, let's say, we have a hierarchy so we have an html dom inside which we have you know tag one and inside that tag two and tag three like a nested one so in that case we use this operator greater than and then using this we find the location so let's understand with an example let me show you let's go back to the website so over here let's say you want to find a locator for this one right so this is this i tag is inside button and button is inside div right so if you want to find with this approach how you can do so you just have to enter so div then that operator greater than button and inside that we had this i i as a class because inside this we have a class value so for class we'll use dot and then the value of the class so i will just remove it yes so over here if you see because we have space so i'm removing space and entering dot so now it is getting highlighted so this is a way if you want to find a nested element over here it is working fine but in your project when you work in a real-time project so the locators are not that easy to find you should know different approaches how you can find a look so there, there might be a case when you have to find a locator like this when you have a nested uh, value and you want to find a locator by this approach so you should know how how to find a locator when you have a nested tags, right? The next one is, let's say you want to find a locator, but your starting text is fixed and the ending text keeps on changing. For example, let's say you have test one, two, three, and this one, two, three, maybe it will keep on changing. It can be four, five, six, or any other value, right? But we know our test hyphen is fixed over here. So that means starting text is fixed, right? So in case where we have starting text is fixed, so we use caret sign over there. So this is how you find a locator when you have a starting text is fixed. So let's understand. Let's go back to the website. For example, if you want to find locator for this one. So we see this car dot add. And if I... If I copy this and search by this one, we will see how many locators are there on the page for this. Let's say there is only one locator. Fine. But what if I, I know this 43 can be changed in the future. So if I want to search only on the basis of cart.add, how can I do that? Currently it is showing zero, right? But if I pass my caret sign along with this one, you can see four results. So four results will have this prefix card dot add as common. So you see this card dot add, but my last value is different in all the cases, right? So this can be helpful where you want to find the value based on the prefix where you have the starting text is fixed. So in that case, we have to use caret to find our locator. So this is how we find customized CSS locator in the case where we have starting text is fixed, right? So my seventh approach is where you have your ending text is fixed. By ending text, I mean, let's say, for example, one, two, three, dash test. So in this, in this case, let's say if your one, two, three value will change, but you know your hyphen test will be constant. It will be fixed. So in that case, how we can do, we have to use dollar sign. So using the dollar sign, you can find the starting where you have your ending text is fixed. 
right so let's understand this one also with an example so let me take you back to the website so for example earlier we saw card dot add but uh, let's say we have the value as 43 which is which is fixed now right so what we'll do let me copy this value and the card dot add over here so if i if i just check for 43 it will it will not show me any result right it is not showing me any result let me remove this carrot sign so now you see it is not showing me any result but if i pass dollar over here so now so now you see there are three values which are getting highlighted so first one is this which is 43 as the ending text let's see the next one so this one also has 43 and the third one so this one also is 43 so that means wherever you have a fixed ending text you can use dollar and you can pass it value right so with this value if you pass along with the dollar it will search for that specific ending text and it will return the value right so this is my seventh approach how we can find a locator so this is my approach if we have ending text is fixed right so these are the different uh, seven ways how we can create a customized CSS locator in in Cypress. So there are multiple ways we learned. First one is ID. Second is class using dot. Third one is attribute in which you have to pass the attribute name along with the value. Fourth is when we have multiple classes. So you have to remove spaces and enter dot in that case, right? Next one is when you have to find element in a hierarchy. So we use this greater than sign over there and then we find that locator so the next one is where you have a fixed starting text so we use caret so this is very important because uh, you're whenever you work in a project real-time project so it's not straightforward you will find a locator right you have to create your custom css also so not every time you will have id or class so in those cases you have to understand you have to know how you can create your customized css so till now we discuss all the six locators and the last one is for the ending text when we have the ending text is fixed so we'll use dollar so yes guys these are the seven different ways which we learned today to find a locator in cypress to how you can customize your css so it's not always you will get straight forward values for id for class because when we know when we work in a real-time project so it's not like always developers are free to provide you with a fixed locator so you you should know how you can find customized css so this will be helpful for you when you create a framework you will need all these strategies you will need to know different approaches to create a customized css so i hope uh, you understand the concept so please uh, like and subscribe to the channel